The Oklahoma City chapter of the American Indian Chamber of Commerce of Oklahoma recently held their monthly luncheon. The presentation for the April gathering featured a study of the economic impact Oklahoma tribes have on the Oklahoma economy. The study was conducted by the Oklahoma Tribal Finance Consortium. Part of the uh, purpose of the Oklahoma Tribal uh, Finance Consortium is to educate. Is to educate. I'm an educator. I like doing that. Where it becomes an issue is when people understand but ignore. They choose to ignore the native nations of the great state of Oklahoma. $15.6 billion for FY19. That was our direct and indirect impact to the state of Oklahoma. That number is hard to ignore. That's part of the reason why we do this study. Uh, I'm an accountant. $15.6 billion is sexy to me. That's just <laughs> amazing, right? Our tribal nations are growing at a faster rate than the state of Oklahoma. And that's incredible for the state. You've heard Chief Hoskin uh, say time and time again, and I'm starting to use that same phrase, our tribal nations in our state is the greatest resource of our state. Uh, um, uh, our growth and our investments are in our Oklahoma communities. And we employ all Oklahomans. And we provide services to all Oklahomans. And so that's why it's our story. That's why it involves each and every one of you, your businesses, native or not, um, you know, if, whether or not you're native or not native, I mean, uh, these, these impact numbers touches all of our lives. The economic impact of tribal nations in Oklahoma study is available at oknativeimpact.com. Details of the native impact can be found in the full study. This is Dan Bigby reporting for Buffalo's Fire.